Jake. I was at UFC 285 when you were filming the weigh-in scene and the fight scene with Jay here on covering that event. I'm just curious what your process was like in trying to get into like the mind of a UFC fighter for those particular scenes. Uh, you know, I mean, I had like, you know, I had supposed to be at 283 and then uh, had COVID the night before. So we had prepped for that fight and then had to wait two months and then we planned for 285. So, you know, I mean, throughout the shooting, I was sort of in that mentality and physically I definitely felt that way. Like I had training every day and getting ready, you know, so at a certain point you have to convince yourself of that stuff as an actor, you know. Um, but really ultimately in the end, it was the energy of the crowd. Like as soon as I could feel that crowd and you had the camera on you and you're about ready to come out, you know, it's like, you know, I, I, I realized, and I think I knew this before, but I didn't really feel it till I was in there. You know, that's a sacred space, the octagon. You know, like people don't get to go in there unless they're actually fighting. And to be able to, to be in there and, and, and do that was really an, an honor for me. Um, so I took it pretty seriously. But at the same time, you know, I, I perform live on stage and things like that. So, you know, there were, there were elements that were somewhat similar, though nothing similar at all. Um, <laughs> but like I, but I, uh, I, I just focused, you know, there's just a focus. And, and you have that before uh, any, sort of, any sort of live event. You just, you gotta focus on the task at hand. Um, and I just tried to emulate what I've seen and um, you know, studied other fighters and and study those walkouts and and they're all so different. Um, and then you start to realize that you know it is it, really about the individual, and each individual doesn't have to be like come out as some like you know so tough. You know, they they come out however they want to come out, and they're fierce however they're fierce. And yeah, I don't know. Ultimately, it was just a crazy honor. It's one of those amazing things that I pinch myself in my life that I get to do. Yeah, and I think it came across well. I think the way in scene on our social media still has like the most engagement of anything we've ever put out. So no I think way. that wow. kind of yeah. says a lot to this wow. point. And I think you helped out by that by putting, you know, jumping in the comments there, I think at one point too. <laughs> yeah. um, but I mean, you know, bringing those two worlds together was what this movie does too in the opposite end. Like I came to that, I came to the fight game as like bringing movies there. And that had a really, I thought it was a fantastic response. You know, it was super fun, but I think we all had great respect for the fight game in that. And the same thing with Connor when he came to the movie set, you know, he came in and he said, I'm a white belt, you know, I'm here to learn. I don't know anything about making movies or acting and I want to learn. And so that type of humility in that space, you know, I tried to bring in the same way in the opposite end. I, I, I don't know that much about the fight game and I have great respect for it and I wanted to learn. Yeah, I think that leads me perfectly to the next question. Um, you've obviously done a lot of combat scenes in your acting career, but with someone like Connor, who obviously former UFC champion comes from that world, uh, did that make it more challenging, easier? How, how was that adjustment, especially working with him? Well, I mean, mostly I've worked with uh, a lot of ex-fighters, but they've learned how to be stunt people. So in that sense, they know how to fake fight. I think Connor had a uh, learning curve in that, you know, learning how to <laughs> to fake fight was not, you know, also I, I worked with Chandler too, which is kind of a kind of interesting in that sense that I, you know, both of them um, in the sequences we did, but I remember sort of taking a hit in a movie is, is you're you're not you're not taking it you're selling it and that's a very mm. very different mm. style so and it's just being head to head with him you know Connor and that first shot we ever shot was that headbutt and that was the first time he was just staring at me in the eyes and I was like oh shit <laughs> you know um, <laughs> but I uh, but yeah but yeah that's yeah that's about it. <laughs>